Ella, Part 7 Friendship Morning in Texas and there were things to do. Ella and Gabby had been on the road for five days now. That means laundry, shower, and what was that sound in the tire? We definitely need to get that looked at. After morning rituals, which consisted of instant grits and coffee for breakfast, and a trip to a very nice marble bathroom, the two set off to find a tire store. It wasn't far. The Patterson Auto Center was friendly and expensive. $289 for two tires! The two travelers explored the streets until they found an ATM. Instead of finding a yellow rose in Texas, they found a yellow horse. It was in front of the bank. Like the bulls they once displayed in Chicago and the lizards in Orlando, Florida. Anyhow, now that the emergency bank account had been depleted for new tires on the car, they could relax. Danger averted. The sound in the tire had just been a wheel balancing weight that had been clanging around inside there since they had the tire fixed in Bossier City, Louisiana. Oh well, we have two new tires and two less things to worry about when we get to the mountains. Gabby reminded Ella that they had nowhere to go and all day to get there. You are so right, honey, agreed Ella. You can, we can take a shower and do laundry tomorrow. I'll go pay for another day, said Gabby. Hold on a minute, said Ella. She pulled Gabby close and kissed her deeply. Thanks, she said. What for, asked Gabby. For being you. Well, began Gabby, if I'd have known that's all it took, I wouldn't have worried so much about whether you liked me or not. They held each other and caressed until the heat from their bodies was boiling inside the little trailer. Okay, said Gabby, pulling away. I've got to get to the office before they close. Let me go now. Ella reluctantly let her go and gave her a sheepish smile. I simply love that woman, thought Gabby as she left for the office. We get another day in Texas. This will be a one for relaxing, thought Gabby. A dip in the pool, maybe skip some rocks on the river. This is starting to be a real adventure now. They were halfway across the country. That's the furthest Gabby had ever been. She still couldn't believe they were actually doing it, driving cross-country just to get a medical marijuana recommendation. Crazy, no? Necessary, yes. The way Gabby looked at it, if, heaven forfend, she should ever get arrested for possession, she wanted to be prepared. Not that it would keep her out of jail, but she'd have a solid defense for court. She was believing, though, for never needing to use it. Ella, on the other hand, tried not to think about the locked box beneath the bench in the trailer. She wondered how much pot there was in there, and what would happen if they were arrested. That state trooper in Louisiana didn't seem to think they looked like potheads. Her head was swimming with untamed scenarios, so she decided just not to think about it at all. Put a 12-pack on ice and just go with the flow. To be continued.